Hi, this is Brad Newberg with the Dojo Project. This week I put out a new release of Dojo Storage that got the Flash Storage Provider and the HTML5 Storage Provider working much better. Dojo Storage, in case you don't know what it is, is an open source framework that's part of the Dojo Project. Dojo Storage makes it easy to store large amounts of data on the client side, way beyond cookies. The thing that's unique about it is Dojo Storage will find the best way to do that, called providers. So if Google Gears is present, that will be used. If HTML5 is present, such as in Firefox 2, then that will be used. And finally, if you're on a browser such as Internet Explorer that doesn't have any of these options, then a hidden flash file will be used. What's unique is that Dojo Storage gives you a name value pair storage similar to a hash table. And it's been around for a few years. And when we made the move from Dojo 0.4 to Dojo 1.0, the architecture of Dojo changed quite a lot. And the Flash provider and the HTML5 provider stopped working. In addition, new browsers and new versions of Flash have come out. So I've done a really, really significant refactoring of how the Flash system works, really simplified it, made it faster, made it simpler and easier. So I want to show you a demo. This page is a testing page for Dojo Storage. On the left here, we have different keys that we've been storing. Right here, we have the particular kind of storage provider that's being used. And right here, we have some predefined links that can save some complicated data. So let's start. We see that uh, the gear storage provider has been auto-detected on this browser. So when I click this link, what's going to happen is a test book is being loaded into the local gear store. And it's about 240K, much more than you could do with a cookie. Here, we can save some test XML just to show you that more complicated things. This is an atom feed for my blog. Now here's what's cool. I'm going to force it uh, to use a flash storage provider. So now, instead of using Gears, it's using a hidden flash file. So if we save the test book, boom, there we are in flash. Test XML works as well. And we can use HTML5. There's our book. There's our XML. And the way that Dojo Storage works is it will first look for Google Gears because that's the fastest, simplest way to do things. The next thing it will work for is Firefox, basically HTML5 storage. This is uh, showing up in Firefox 2 and Firefox 3, and it's a good option. The next thing is flash storage. This is for browsers such as Internet Explorer or Safari, earlier versions of Safari, that might not yet support HTML5 or Gears. So Dojo storage is a great option if you need to begin to store larger amounts of data on the client side, such as caching commonly used values, helping you to build offline applications, and so on.